Hello, viewers, subscribers, and fans, and everyone else in between. Joining me, Ruku, for another beer review. Today's beer review, and I can't wait to try this, is from Tiny Rebel. This is uh, Shakedown. This is a Mango Vermont in style, 4.5, from Tiny Rebel. And um, as we know, Tiny Rebel is a craft beer from Wales. Had a lot of their stuff lately. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. On the back there, it tells you all the tasting notes, which I'm going to ignore because I don't want to be influenced any way in, in trying this, you know. Um, this is a free 30 as well, I might add. I don't want to be influenced, so I'm going to do my best not to look at the back. To prove that I'm not going to actually put my hand over it, so I can't see. Beautiful hiss there coming out. That was under pressure. Do, 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 do. Under pressure. Well, maybe. Okay. That's been a little bit shaken up. There's um. It has been shaken. There's uh. I'll wait for that to go down in a minute. That's probably the massive hiss that come out of this. But there we go. So we're looking at um, a very hazy golden colour. Uh, head is uh, foamy and white. Big bubbles in this head as well. What we've got then is just a massive foamy looking head with a hazy orangey colour and uh, very cloudy, you can't see through that, it's very murky, cloudy, hazy is the word it is, you know. Um, okay, let's crack on the smells. <laughs> wow, there's uh, pure mango smells, a little bit tropical, maybe like um, mango and um, I'll see what's the word I'm looking for. Passion fruit. Mango and passion fruit smells. Mostly mango though, I will be honest, but uh, there's a little bit of back note of what I think could be um, passion fruit. Right. Let's see what this bad boy tastes like. Gonna be a tough one. That's a tough one to call. I think it's the style of the beer, but it's incredibly. I don't know. It's like um, sort of bitter hop. There's a um, mango dominant, obviously. Flavour of mango, a very sort of bittering hop. The bittering hop, and it's almost like a little bit sour in places, almost as if I don't really want to say this, but almost as if the beer's been spoiled. It's bitter, it's almost that sort of off taste to it. Mango flavours. Slight sourness on the aftertaste. Leaves me kind of puzzled. Not sure what to make of this one. Um, I really, really struggling with this. This isn't. This is so different. What Tiny Rebel have done with this? I don't, I don't know what they've done. I mean, I'm not a, a huge lover of Vermont's anyway. Um, but it is what it is, fans. It is a Vermont. So, according to this, it says the eye is a Tuscan sunset. 
don't know, I haven't seen a Tuscan sunset in my life, so I can't comment. The nose is all mango. Yeah, I'd say so. And taste is 99.99% mango. Um, right, okay, yeah, so that's that's pretty spot on. Do I like it? I, I, I don't think it's their best one. i, I got to admit, this is probably my least favourite of the Tiny Rebel series. Um, it, to me, it's just a bit... Bit different. It's a bit sour. It's a bit dry, hoppy. Um, it just tastes like a little bit off, if you know what I mean. The body of the beer is is light. The flavours of mango are there. They come through no problem. Not quite as juicy as a mango that I'd like to have, have got in the mouth feel kind of thing. You know, I'd really want that juicy mango, but <coughs> burp sign of good beer. But it's definitely there. Head is, is frothy and very bitter. I think this is one that you really need to get used to on the palate. For me, this is not something I would drink, I'll be honest, but um, I don't know. Maybe maybe loads of people like this kind of style, but I'm, I'm not a fan of Vermont. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Um, probably my least favourite of the Tiny Rebel series, but uh, there it is, Shakedown by Tiny Rebel. I'm going to score this a 5. 5 out of 10. Not as good as I hoped. The artwork is fantastic on this can, by the way. I actually love the artwork, and it just doesn't do... This artwork doesn't do the beer justice. The artwork is actually better than the beer in my eyes, but... It's a shame because I've got. I, I love Tiny Rebel. I really do. Really do. This is the only shit beer I've had from them. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some. Never mind. Eh? We'll move on. We'll move on. But there you go. That's my verdict for Shakedown on Tiny Rebel. Join me next time, fans, for some more beer reviews, and uh, hopefully, we'll get some more of these Tiny Rebels in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join me on Instagram, also at Ruku's Beer.